next video. Here we go. So this one <clears throat> it should be pretty concise because we've gone over hallucinations a lot. Um, so I'm going to go over the basics of hallucinations, illusions, and delusions, and then mainly give the biggest differences between them. <clears throat> and that usually has more to do with hallucinations and really illusions. So let's just start off with the basic. So we know with hallucinations, the five that we talk about are visual, olfactory, gustatory, auditory, and tactile. We know that delusions, so I think of delusion, whenever I think of the word that letter D to me that I, ju I just think brain. Okay. Think it's delusion. It's a fixed thought, thought brain. That's how I kind of keep things um, straight in my head because this is like, it, it really truly is. Um, I'll say it again. This really, it's like a new language. It's like learning a new language. And imagine if this is not even, if English is not your first language and then you're learning, <clears throat> having to, uh, um, translate this in your head and then learn this language. So I can only imagine how much more difficult even, uh, yeah, I was really wrapping my head around that today. So that's another reason why I'm really glad that I'm doing these kind of little mini videos. I think that I, I hope they're helpful. Um, I've been told from several people that they are. So let's, let's continue. <laughs> um, so delusion, it's a false fixed belief delusion, false fixed belief. Usually um, it's a fixation. So thinking about the C CNA, <laughs> sorry, not the CNA usually, um, CIA, police, politics, that type of thing. I think we kind of got that down. Now, what tends to become confusing, at least in my experience, has to do with illusion and hallucination. So we know that an illusion, we did this in class today, but let's just for fun, <clears throat> talk about it again. And we talked about it previously. And that would be, okay, I'm holding right now a pen in my hand. And I think that it is a telephone. It is an actual object. I'm actually holding it, but I think that it is a phone. I've had students say, well, couldn't that be a tactile hallucination? You're feeling something on your skin. And, um, it's not really there. Well, no, because there really is something there, right? So you see that difference? There is actually something really there. A tactile hallucination would be if you, you know, feel something running up and down your arm and there's really nothing there. And somebody that is, you know, of, of sound mind is telling you, no, you do not have fleas running up and down your arm. Now you may have fleas running up and down your arm and that would be happening basically <clears throat> if i look over in uh, at the chair that's in my living room and i see a chair and i think that um madonna is sitting in that chair and madonna is not sitting in that chair and someone of sound wine tells me madonna's not sitting in that chair that would be a visual hallucination now if i <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know my throat. Whenever I'm recording, my throat just, I don't know what happens. My apologies. Now, let's say I just look at the chair in itself and there's a real chair there. And I say, oh, that chair is Madonna. But obviously the chair's not Madonna and someone's telling me that. That would be an illusion because there's actually a chair there, but it's not what I'm saying it is. So the uh, the other one would be, and this, this was, um, a really great question too. I had a, a student ask, so about the whole pen thing, I say, oh, this, it's a, it's an actual, you know, object and it's a snake. Okay. And then what if I'm sitting here on my couch and I look at the floor and I say, oh my God, there's a snake right there. There's a snake right there, but there's no snake there. That would be an illusion, but somebody might say, well, couldn't that technically be a visual hallucination because you think the floor is a snake or sorry. My, my apologies, back up. <laughs> so it's actually a visual hallucination because there is no snake. But I've had people say, well, wouldn't that, couldn't that be a delusion because you were thinking the floor is a snake? No. So we really try, don't want to dig too far deep, if, if, if you will. I think that that will make sense, hopefully. 
Um, I think that's where it can kind of get a little bit confusing. No, I'm not mistaken. Now, if I said that piece, so I have planks in my floor, it's a wooden floor. If I said that plank or whatever, I, I pointed at the specific plank and said, this is a snake, this is a snake. That then would be an illusion because I'm thinking a specific part of the wood is not is a snake. Now, if I just said and pointed at the floor randomly and said, there's a snake crawling, crawling, oh my God, across the floor, that would be a visual hallucination. So again, this is very short and sweet. I hope that helped. Um, I, I <clears throat> There are videos on YouTube as well if you need a little bit more explanation. Um, and please don't hesitate to ask me, but I think that will help, um, at least I did with the, the students in clinical. And we can, of course, go over this in clinical again, if you need additional help or call me or text me, email, what, whatever you need, um, you know, I will help you as much as I possibly can. So uh, again, short and sweet, I'm going to upload this actually tonight. Thank you so much. And I only have one more video to upload after this. I'll probably do that one tomorrow, no later than the next day. And that is on what we did today, which was the recap, which I thought was really good. I, I had a really nice time with you guys. Thank you for playing Jeopardy with me. Good night.